The U.S. Constitution, which defined many of our laws that we live by today, were not all unanimous. The Supreme Court has most power and will say what is illegal and legal in terms of the law as we see it. In the case Marbury v. Madison, 1803, President John Adams commissioned William Marbury along with others as judges. This action angered the incoming Democratic-Republican president, Thomas Jefferson. Jefferson then ordered James Madison, his Secretary of State, not to deliver the commissions, thus blocking the appointments. William Marbury sued, asking the Supreme Court to order Madison to deliver the commission and make him a judge. The court ruled against Marbury. In this particular case, the Supreme Court expanded its own rights in saying that it is the court itself that has the final say in the interpretation of the Constitution. By this case, all people are guaranteed equal protection from corruption within the government. In regards to this case, the government's rights are protected and upheld by the fact that the Supreme Court has the power to declare acts of Congress unconstitutional. By the decision of this case, citizens are, protect are protected from the actions of previous presidents. Only the acts of the current president are executed. In the case entitled Prince v. United States, 1997, Arizona law enforcement officer Jay Prince challenged the provisions of what is known as the Brady Act. The Brady Act requires CLEOs, chief law enforcement officials, to conduct background checks on those who request to purchase guns. The Supreme Court concluded that the Brady Act provision was unconstitutional. In this case, the Supreme Court limited the rights of Congress in that it is not allowed to direct the actions of state executive officials. The conclusion of this case guarantees equal protection of citizens as they are not subject to background searches directed by the federal government. With the decision of Prince versus the United States, the rights of citizens are protected and upheld in that they are protected from the federal government. By this case, citizens today continue to practice their Second, their second Amendment right to purchase and bear arms, but without a background check. Gibbons vs. Ogden, Thomas Gibbons traded on a route between New York and New Jersey on a federal coastal license. While Aaron Ogden had a monopoly on the route given to him by the state of New York, the court ruled in favor of Gibbons expanding the rights of Congress by giving con Congress control of interstate trade. Today, citizens are guaranteed equal protection, being that trade is equal among all states under Congress.